Well, I just got back from digging all day in Raleigh at a dump that I kind of accidentally found. I was probing a residential lot looking for privies and found some kind of a dump. It's probably 25 feet square. I don't know the exact dimensions, but it's got a good age to it. Unfortunately, I found a lot of ordinary unembossed kind of things like this. Found 43 bottles in one day. There's some more of them. It was actually in the same spot I found the 12 broken dispensary flasks last time and I didn't find any broken ones this time. But I definitely found a lot of broken straights out of Cokes. Here's a few of them that I brought back. Not one perfect one, but there must have been 25 broken ones of these. And they're from Atlanta for some reason. I guess before Raleigh had its own Coke plant, they had cases shipped all the way from Atlanta. 25 of these. This is as close to a whole one as I could find. Got a big chip on the bottom and another on the top and a crack. I guess they purposely destroyed them all because the Coke and Pepsi company usually did that and how else do you explain finding 25 broken ones and no whole ones. There's a nice looking bottle. Not exactly rare, but the ladies will like it. And then I found one of these big six and a half inch promos. And then one of the airs. I guess that's some kind of medicine. I did find a hutch, but it's very common and it's damaged. I've actually found a lot more of these from Virginia than I have of North Carolina hutches. Here's some kind of early condiment bottle. At least it has a little bit of color. Here's another condiment bottle. This could be the best bottle of the day. I've never found one of these before. It's a nice shape. Might have to keep that one even though I don't really like condiment bottles much. Well, there was one local hutch. Broken badly, of course. Looks like it said Henderson. Probably would have been worth a couple hundred dollars. Then I found three of these peptonoids. For a chemical bottle, it's not too ugly. Unfortunately, one of them dropped out of the ceiling and a rock hit it at the same second and smashed the bottom of it out. And here's some more stuff. I was hoping that was going to be a dispensary flask, but no luck this time. And here's a new Brunswick. I don't know why that would be over here. This is just a plain blob top, but it's got a nice color to it. Here's another really good bottle. Maybe the best bottle of the day, I don't know. I've never found one quite like it, but it's the big Carter's. Master ink for refilling. Gonna turn purple. Has a patent date, 1899. Don't 
know how come that didn't get broken, but I'm glad it didn't. Oh, I almost forgot I found a couple of these too. Round bottom sodas. Got a really fat top on them. Unfortunately, they don't say anything. I found four embossed pharmacies, but every one of them's either completely broken and had to be glued together. Well, two of them were that way, and two just have bad damage to the tops. I don't know how rare this one is, but somebody might give me five bucks for it because it's a nice eight ouncer. There's a the local one. But it's severely damaged. I guess somebody was visiting from Knoxville and brought this with them. Unfortunately, it has some damage, but it's another big eight ouncer. And as usual, I saved the best for last. I'm assuming this is the best. I don't know the true dollar values on everything here. But it just seems like a rare one. It's another 8 ouncer. Got an old shape to it. Has a lip chip on the back side. So it still displays good. Well, that's it till next time.